Well, but you could always talk. I mean, I could, and I have. And you are. And, oh, no, are we live? Yeah. Oh, no, now they can hear my voice. They know I'm present. My <laughs> alibi is ruined. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but uh, so what's the latest? Uh, I'm going to go to work. Cool. That sounds, I mean... At the place that I am gainfully employed. That sounds like a thing to do. Yeah, isn't it exciting? Yeah. And then what am I supposed to do? Uh, something about, like, a stream, something with languages. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Does it not sound like you? That doesn't sound like my thing. All right, well, I guess you're just humoring Jesse then. All right. Well, fair enough. Sounds about right. Oh, oh hi, Jesse. How are you? <laughs> Tired. Uh, Hank yeah. and Ann and Graham and Tim, Jonathan, Magpie, Dark Horse. <laughs> this is, nice to see this you a, all. This is a bit like Romper Room. I see the Nin, I see Tim, I see Magpie, I see Graham. You know Nobody what? Nobody else knows what you're talking about. Your friend was on Romper Room. What friend was on Romper Room? Anna Carloni. Oh, sh yeah, but like it was a Bay Area, like nobody else was watching this. It wasn't a Bay Area thing, it's actually a national thing. Look it up on Wikipedia. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, are you aware of this supposed national phenomenon? Only because he's told me about it like eight times. Yeah, it just doesn't seem, it seems like a disproportionate sort of thing. Of course, then again, Jesse doesn't know about Captain Planet, so... What? <laughs> yeah. It's probably illegal in your part of the country. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, Look I was this. explaining my Atlas crossover there. shirt, and, and I, I was like, because the Planeteers, and she... She gave me a, a, a quizzical look. Unbelievable. A quizzical look. Romper Room is an American children's television series that was franchised oh and syndicated from 1953 <laughs> to 1994. 41 years. Older than us, still. Okay, let's see. Where where do I... Yes, here. Okay, I'm ready. I'm there ready. Yes. <sighs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, I have to leave for the office, so... Just build, keep a count of how many of those he needs, and then when I get back, I will issue Done. them. Done. So. I, actually, I'll just text you every time. Yeah, but I won't be here. Well, that's oh, okay. But I can you'll, just look you'll, at my text afterwards text. and then accumulate them. Yeah, that works. That yeah. works. Don't worry. He will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> I stand as your proxy. Excellent. Oh, look who's look who's showing up early and and talking, you know, without being, uh, you know, addressed. Summons. Perhaps to make up for the last time when he wasn't here. Hello, Bibleridian. Who? Is <laughs> Bibleridian, of the course, way, a big fan of Bromperi. The way you said that was perfect. Thank you. Been practicing. And, and hello, Kaywin. I see you. Oh, I know who that is, don't I? Yes, you do. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I like knowing things and people. All right. And stuff. Yeah. Let me um, let me give a quick little uh, refresh to old Lexergy to make sure that if uh, Graham has put in any changes, that they register. And seriously, Graham, this is so amazing, the, the work you've done on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this honestly makes the whole enterprise worth it, worth it because, you know, all conlangers can use this. Um, and they, I mean, what we're doing, I mean, I don't care. We're, we're just hanging out. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Ooh, I like Higi. That's a, that's a good possible word. There are some really fun possible words on there. Um, that, and what's cool is he had obviously just kind of thrown um, some sample ones together uh, but I think they ended up being really fun yeah well, we, now we're not gonna have we're not gonna have ash in the modern formal language right no it's just a temporary thing it is temporary it yes a stage so temporary that honestly it's like a stage two out of three on the chart yeah. and I'm not oh he's saying the outputs is still in Ella. that's still in Ella and then out in the outputs Okay. Oh, right. Of course. Which is how we had email on there. I was like, that's interesting. All right. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. I see some of these things are coming out without tone, but that's probably because we didn't actually do the, uh, you know, default rule. We didn't put the default rule anywhere in there, did we? But isn't low tone not marked? Um, no. Well, okay, we're not going to mark it, correct, but it is marked on Lexergy. Like, notice okay. this one, we have um, equal. Uh, and we have a low tone marked in the I and a high tone marked in the O. Uh, so some of these are toneless, and if they're toneless, they should be high tone. Um, okay. No, B is not a phoneme in this language. <laughs> so good catch, good catch. And so uh, you're 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 Pip Loridian. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> hey Pip, say hello to the aged P. Huh? I know that we're supposed to do more British accents. Uh, almost, I got one left. Um, how air you, Pip? That was it. You read Great Expectations? No. You read anything by Dickens? Uh, Christmas Carol. That's it. That's it. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like there's so much more you wanted to say after that, but I feel the judgment. I yeah. feel it. We have a long history, and when I say we, of course, I mean me and my friend John have a long history with the book Great Expectations. Lots to say there. Also, I see that there's a little me in the bottom of the window, so clearly I haven't been doing my job. Matei says it, it's a terrible book, and uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that, and I can, I it's can move by, on. It's by Dickens, so it's a terrible book. Um, <laughs> slam! But... Um, Let's see, did that, did that fix it? No, I don't think that fixed it. I think I need to go a little bit more. Um, so right. my friend Rodney played Oliver Twist in, uh, in a stage version of Oliver Twist um, in a large college production. They needed kids for the, the kids, and he was chosen to be the main character. It's kind of cool. What age? Oh, goodness, he was young. No. I have to ask him for sure, but it's like 10 or something. But yeah, Vanin hit the nail on the head here. Um, uh, Dickens is super overrated. He is, I don't want to go so far as to say he's the Michael Bay of that era, but like, what would be? And I'm, I'm curious to see, for shame, whether that was about me not reading. Oh, when Christian's like, you don't like Charles Dickens? No. I mean, I mean, I, it's it's it's. Popcorn. I don't know because I've only read Christmas Carol. It's popcorn fair, you know. It's 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 bubble gum. It's like it's somewhere in between Michael Bay and um, and the Marvel movies. I the feel Fast like, and the Furious. I feel like <laughs> Charles Dickens is the Fast <laughs> and the Furious of that era. I think you're you're breaking some literary hearts out there. I see Maybe. it. I see it. Yeah, Fast. Um, okay, Fast. Fast and the Furious, M. Night Shyamalan, maybe going, may going too hard. I, you know, it's something I think everybody would agree with, even Dickens fans. Um, what's his face? Uh, you know, um, um, Avatar, Titanic, Terminator 2. Oh, James Cameron? James Cameron. He's the James Cameron of that era. Can we back up? And how was I supposed to get that from that? Remember when the, when the ship goes up? So, oh, my God. Okay, so Bibliridian had a, a language question. Um, a language whose adjectives behave like verbs when used predicatively, but behave like nouns when used attributively. I'm going to assume he means Middle Egyptian, because isn't, isn't that how Middle Egyptian works? I have to rely on you for Middle Egyptian knowledge. Yeah, because like they are absolute 100% verbs when they're used predicatively, but then when they're used as modifiers, I mean, they take plural morphology and everything, you know. Um, so like uh, Peru, um, and then, uh, Peru Nefru would be like good or beautiful houses, uh, with the U being plural, um, and you'd have Per Nefer if it was just a beautiful house. So, um, I don't know, uh, unless I misread the, unless I misread the question, I think that, uh, takes the cake. Yeah. Um, ooh, have fun lurking. 
Okay, um, hold on. No, no, no. Let, okay, Steinbeck <laughs> is really hit and miss. Steinbeck is really hit and miss. Okay. Uh, of Mice and Men? Great. Um, Never read it. Great. What? It's short. I read part of it. What? No! This is anyway, a book that's um, like 60 pages long. Also, you read part of it? I skimmed most of it. It's, I I mean, we had to read it for school. It was... What, what does that make a difference? Okay, so... Oh, my God. All right, so listen... I haven't read we Grapes also have of a Wrath. poll to get to. I haven't read Grapes of Wrath, but I'm going to say it probably passes. I'm going to say the same thing probably about East of Eden. I've seen the movie. Um, however, know. to a god unknown, I mean, are you kidding me? Terrible. The Pearl? Get out of here. No. Some of this stuff is just garbage. Um, and of course, I mean, it's, it's the era. Misogyny and racism is a given. Ooh, yes. The poll. Miles agrees. The poll. Let's do it. This poll, I don't think that, I don't think that, I don't think that you're going to want to do it. I don't think they're going to want to do it once they see what happened. So let me find the purple, what, like the place to go to, like we have something in the document. Um, um, well, it's like way up on page four to five. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is not. Just, no, there's not much. There is more if you wanted to pull up the Patreon page with the, you had like fully described this. Um, so we had seven options. Yeah, the basic question is, are we gonna do palatalization? And if so, how? Um, right. Um, so the one in last place was option F, which was a dealer and alveolar palatalization okay so uh, and so that would have been like ingma and the n for the, instance going to nya this is yeah a, what would have happened in this one is that uh, nya would be, become nya uh kya would have become cha and same thing for you know kya and cha uh and the same thing would have happened to this column so tia would become tia and Sia would become Sha, Ra would probably become Ja or something like that. So it would just be these two columns. So that was the least favorite. It's out. And by least favorite, I mean it had zero votes. Oof! Yikes. That would, by the way, uh, that was the, um, that was the Sedan merger. So I had that merger in a language I did called Sedan that also had a uvular column. But basically, velars and alveolars merged in palatal situations, and there was a lot of palatalization. Made it fun. Anyway. All right. And, Mateus, you just cracked me up. Um, because Dark Horse asked, how good is Jesse at making clicks? Mateus says, Dark Horse, what does your heart tell you? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> next up. And, oh, what was this? Sixth place? No. Yeah, sixth place. Um, is the alveolar palatalization alone? So just the alveolars becoming palatalized. Just this. And that only had one vote, by the way. So when I say it came next up, it was literally next up. Y'all hated this. Like I don't know why, but like I thought this was a slam dunk. But no, y'all hated it. Right. Yeah. Right above that, with two votes was velar palatalization. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought this one would have been... I disagree with your votes, patrons. <laughs> I disagree. This would have been the easiest thing to do, and it would have really cleared up this whole ambiguity between nya and nya. Like, now we're just going to have to sit with it. All right. Velar palatalization, out. Easy, lightweight, could have been out. One step above that with three votes. There, there were some clear top runners here. Yeah. Um, were the the velar and um, coronal palatalization. Okay, so I, I guess that so we we didn't like velar and alveolar, but we liked velar and everything here. I guess the big salad. Sorry. Okay, yeah. so now in. Gosh, this is third place by now. Um, but third place still only had six votes, so still 
not very many. And sorry to ruin your hope star course, but it was David and Jesse's choice. <laughs> that third place. I know, and after seeing the way this poll is going, I'm starting to wish that that would have won. <laughs> and, okay, second place. Second place. I want to just mention second and first place are only split by two votes. Whoa! So 16, 16 votes went to second place. 18 votes went to the first place. We're down to two. And in second place is um, coronal palatalization. Would have been this. And that. And do you know what that means? Do you know what that means first place is, patrons? Go ahead. It, it means no palatalization won this vote. Nothing. 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 Tra-la-la. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> I think, I wonder if the patrons are coming off of, you know, the, the possum language, which is like all palatal, and they're like, we're done with that. Um, Jonathan is rather excited. Uh, Miles, I don't think is. I, I don't think he's shouting an expletive in a good way. Uh, <laughs> so, nice yeah. one. Nice one, Graham. As I'm looking forward to writing up the poll results in Lexus. <laughs> oh, but also, I'd see, Mateus, um, I, I, I think I, I feel the same thing in terms of why that, that option won. And I think it was, you know, hey, we just did a lot of palatalization, and I think sometimes we yeah. swing in the other direction. So, you know what this means, don't you? This means we either need to limit certain units or just because there's no palatalization doesn't mean that we won't delete a palatal in certain places. Yeah, we're going to have to. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just making some words just to uh, vestibule. I like that. That's the top of your head. What word could I make after mouse? Yeah. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Um. Jesse's. <laughs> yes. And make sure you say that correctly because Niaga is different than Niaga and Niaga. <laughs> terrible Niaga. terrible exactly. all right so this okay so obviously we cannot do this right we're just <laughs> you just deleted everything just done. it's over <laughs> we're, we're gonna back up okay okay all right so let item number one is going to be the deletion of J. <laughs> but only in certain cases. Yes, only in certain cases. Okay, let's go back to. Um, okay, here we go. Let's let's see what we got. Um, uh, okay, so glide for Titian, right? We have that. Um, diphthong simplification, not relevant. Coda simplification. It's giving us. Oh. Uh, Two questions popped up. First and foremost, a vestibule is just really a fancy word for like you enter a building and there's a small little entryway before you enter further. You can call that a vestibule. Mm -hmm. It's just like one entryway into another, essentially. It's, um, it's relevant for people that live in lesser states that have cold weather. Some people may have grander things than vestibules, like a foyer. <laughs> um, okay, and then Bibliridian says it was indeed Middle Egyptian, so yay! Yeah. Um, I felt like, I yes. mean, I felt like he, he just, he, he didn't actually want to know about that. He was just throwing me a softball question to butter me up for something. I don't know for what. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, it's like if you ask a very obscure question and the answer is Middle Egyptian, a language I happened to have studied, he's buttering me up for something. He's he's gonna ask for something big by the end of this stream. Um, Your social security number. We've all been waiting for it. Oh. Okay, hold on a sec, I have to read this text message. Uh, From Bib saying, I'd like your social security number. And... Uh, okay. That is um, news, but not for sharing. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, Dark Horse, I've heard the joke, but now I can't remember how it ends. So, like, you need to tell me how it ends, because I forget now. <laughs> oh, my God. Wall. Wall wanted. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Okay, so foyer, sure. But isn't foyer <laughs> just so much fancier? Just yeah, drop your thing there in the foyer. Chestnuts boasting in an open pool. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dark Horse. Now I remember. Okay. Okay. Um, so, moving on. You found the rules. You got a text message. We're going back to the rules. Hang on. Um, because we're going to limit where that J can occur. Okay. Okay. Palatal simplification. We actually do have this already. Mm-hmm. Um... Now that's only when it follows a palatal consonant. Yes. So then, okay. So then let's. And so we're ready to make it a little bit more. Yeah. So let's um, let's okay. Um, how about um, oh, okay. So. I agree, Noel. By you is a fun word. It just sounds fun. Oh, bayou as in the... Oh, that's a nice word. Okay. Um, yeah, well. Okay. And then we have... Um, now we have the true palatal. Yeah, well. And then... Uh, and the reason we had done this was because we had already said that IA goes to YA, right? Mm -hmm. Or did we? There it is. Yes, yes, there it is. I lost it for a second. Okay. Uh, Noel is asking if we had intervocalic voicing. For some reason, I remember that we did, but do we not? I don't think we do. Then why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay. Um, I guess I just figured eventually we would, but maybe we won't. Okay, and then so we put this in red when there when a yeah, sound we... change has occurred. We definitely have not added any voiced um, stops. We do have some voiced fricatives, but those are because of the um, W and J going to V and J. Otherwise, there so far we don't have any other voicing. Okay. So. I believe these are all the relevant forms, right? In terms of what would come out the same, or like... Or what would end up sounding similar. Yeah, um... I mean, some would be difficult, like... The L... Yapa. I mean, we can do it, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, Bug bite. Itches like nothing. Oh. Then it doesn't itch, right? That would be nice, but no, it itches quite a bit. But it, you said it itches like nothing. 
like nothing I felt before. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think those are the only ones that would end up coming out very, very similarly sounding. Okay, and our current sound changes only affect one form, so these two are leveled. Mm-hmm. And now we have to keep to the spirit of this poll that mm -hmm. asked for no palatalization. I really, it would just go wider, right? Like, like the palatal is deleted after a nasal consonant. I understand the M isn't up here, but Nyapa, yeah, we can do it, but it just seems like if you're going to level it at the N, the Enye and the Engma, it just seems to make sense to say it affects all nasals and that the, the Ya is reduced after any nasal. That is an interesting idea. By the way, uh, Jake had a, a suggestion. That is one I thought of with the insertion, insert a vowel. Okay. But um, that is an interesting idea because we don't exactly have that in English, but we did have, uh, in American English anyway, um, alveolars repel um, the... Uh, the, the, the palatal. So, like, for, for most American English, and by the way, I cannot figure out how this works, but the difference between New York and New York, right? Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, like, he's born in Southern California, too. He says new, like, all the time. And I'm like, where did you get that from? Why are you doing that? But it's like, you know, this is, it's, you'll hear it some places, and then, of course, in England, they just go off the rails and say things like Duke. Um, but I do want to point out to certain British actors who said otherwise that you do have one word where you can have just an ooh come after it, and that is D-O-O-M, doom. Nobody's over there saying doom. You know who you are. I feel like, I feel like you're staring at a very specific person or a set of people through that camera right now. He knows. He knows. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. Um, I didn't think of that in the moment. Um, so uh, something that we could do that's a, a kind of a stopgap is that we could just do the same thing and say after alveolars, uh, the the is rejected. So. Right. That helps. Um, but we're still left with a velar nasal. Yes, we are. So that, and we could just say, we're stuck with it. You know? Nyapa. 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 Is that? Did I do it? I mean, so here's the thing. You can do it. Um, it's just... Acoustically, it sounds very similar. You know, Nyapa versus Nyapa. Manyapa, 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 Manyapa. It's like, it's easy to do question is, can you actually hear the difference well enough to be able to figure out which one's which? So, okay, so I'm either saying disallow after nasals. I think the suggestion of some sort of vowel insertion is interesting, um, especially down. given the fact that this actually isn't going to happen, like, so often. I get that we're like, oh my god, these sound the same, but it's not like the YA or Y vowel or whatever is going to like show up everywhere. Um, and of course, vowel insertion would not affect the palatal because we already have that rule to say if it's already palatal, you cannot have the ya after it. Yeah. And so nyapa, nyapa would still come out as nyapa. It's yeah. just still going to be that way. However, you would have say niapa or niapa instead of having those other nasals, um, or, yeah, or just delete it. Um, um, that would still leave us with velar, right, though? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, here, wait, hold on a sec, but back to balance insertion before we leave it. Is that everywhere? 
So any consonant followed by ya? Honestly, I would reduce it to nasals. What's the point of that? Or these are the problems, right? Aren't the other ones roughly doable? I don't think so. Uh. And I get that M is totally doable. That's not the problem. It's the problem is like, how do you decide that this affects the N and the Angma? I guess you, we could just say it affects the N and the Angma, and that's it. Um, I think I the see R should be in red, shouldn't it? With an L in green, didn't we? Yes. Thank you. I'll take care of that. Cool. Um, because everything else, you siapa, fiapa, fiapa. I'm bad at adjectives anyway. Um, those would all be disallowed, so that's not a problem. I mean, obviously, after a W would be awful. Would we ever have W-Y-A as a... Um, no, that's not possible. Okay. Right, because that's, that's not a protophoneme. Then why is W in black? Oh. Yeah, you could have, you could have that. <laughs> so okay, but I mean, we could get around that by saying two approximants are disallowed. That, which would take L Y out of it too. Did we not deal with this? We didn't. I'm guessing not. We because dealt, we needed to figure out if we were doing palatalization. We dealt with W and Y as codas. We never dealt with them as. Yeah. Wait, what codas do we allow? It was just approximates. Everything no, except wait. adjectives. Everything except adjectives. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's and then they all disappeared. Got it. Okay, so no, we never dealt with um, W and Y as onsets. In terms of like what would happen with we as a protoform. Yeah. Okay, so we're... Further. Do we need to do that first? We are in the middle of um, quite the fun little cluster that we made for ourselves. Um, oh, Mateus, you quiz knows is bad news, and that's all I'm going to say. You Google it will tell you the rest. When does W does become a V? But there's specific situations. Hmm. Yeah, um, the W would not go to a V because it would need to be in front of a U or an O. And so WIA as a protoform would come out as WYA mm -hmm. in the current form. And that's all sorts of messed up. Hmm. I want to, I'm going to take, I'm going to use my one veto for the season. I'm taking away vowel insertion. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. You just, you just knew Wea was going to be on the board and, and you didn't want Wea. No. I guess, do you like keeping Tia more than you? Okay. Um, I get. I, we couldn't have a word that was mu. Mm -hmm. But you're really fine with the with all these J's coming after the other consonants, huh? 
Did I say all of them? You did. Did I? Yeah. Except for palatals. I, well, I didn't like it after, like, any of the approximants and really the nasals. Hmm. Um... Disallow after approximants and nasals, that would take care of our W problems. And I feel like we're going to have to do, Wait, no. like, essentially we have to say that two approximants cannot coexist. Because why UA would have a similar problem. Well, I, mm, actually, actually... Um, oh, and by the way, the question that Bibliridian asked is like, I mean, the answer is something that Conling were supposed to, that's, that's part of the job. You're the one who's supposed to say if the affixation affects stress or not. Um, and so that's, for this language, we'll deal with it, but yeah, it's not like there's just one answer for that. Um, okay, so, uh, could we revise this rule and say disallow glides? after approximants and nasals, or would you be sad to lose things like, um, I don't know, moppy? <laughs> like what? Can you say that again, please? Moppy. No, I'm not sad to be missing that. Okay. So, like, we could just do that. We could just say, disallow glides after approximants and nasals. And that should fix most everything. And the glide is just going to disappear? It's just going to disappear. Mm -hmm. um, now, mm, okay. Uh, we, we just voted for non-palatalization, but we didn't say anything about velarization. We could actually have a W making an N go to an M or a velar nasal and then deleting it. Leave a little wow. Place. Wow. Okay. And this has to be like a separate rule <laughs> nice from the palatal simplification because we still need the other palatals to be blocked from having the yucks. That was part of that rule. Yes. Okay. So then, uh, so now the more important question is our very first rule is glide fortition. Uh-huh. And now we're killing them. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, it's diphthong simplification. This is the important one. Diphthong simplification is giving us the W's and Y's that are getting deleted. So, yes. the rule has to be after this. It has to be after this. It's, um, it doesn't matter for coded simplification. Um, okay. Autocorrect added a little something to one of those cells. Okay. Good. I did, fixed it. Did you fix it? All right. Thank you. Yeah, the other ones don't affect it. So it's got to be before three. Well, not before three. Three doesn't oh, affect sorry. it. Sorry. It has to be after two is what I meant to say. Yeah. And then palatal simplification. I, guess I forgot I'm... about the palatal fronting, so we're going to be doing all sorts of. Yeah. Thanks, anyway. Um. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's let's just put it let's just put it as new rule three, or rule four. I mean, sorry, new rule four, um, and this is going to be um, glide annihilation. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I'm not going to say annihilation. It's decimation. Oh, dang. Because we're only taking it out by about a tenth. <laughs> I 
And so that that just feels more appropriate. <laughs> Is that where the actual etymology comes from? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> what a stupid word. Oh my god. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> wow. Oh my god. My world became richer today, and once again, I respect the Romans less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Unbelievable. Oh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> How do we, um, how do we characterize approximants and nasals? How do we capture those two things? Aren't they more sonorant than the other ones? They are indeed more sonorant. Mm. Sonorant, sonorant, whatever. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. I assume that you saw George Corley and so, of course, naturally slipped into your West Virginia accent and went with sonorant. West Virginia? <laughs> Have I ever had a West Virginia accent? I don't know the real lyrics to uh, uh, Country Road, Take Me Home. I only know the uh, cover done by Israel Kamikaze all day. So it's like after the point where you say West Virginia, it would be West Virginia, Mount Kala, take me home, Country Road. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's like West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Thank you, Applesauce Project. Okay. Go on. Who's, who's mother? Is he talking to somebody? Like, is this who he's singing to? Right. The rule? My things are blowing over here. I don't know what's going on. I'm prepping for the parade. All right. Okay. No, it shouldn't start for another 45 minutes. Oh, and that's, by the way, um, John Denver, anime fan. Yes. <laughs> um, so, around 45 minutes from now, um, there's going to be a parade going right by my office. <laughs> I have no idea how loud it's going to be. Um, I know the band is not performing because um, the the band director decided it would be too hot. And I was like, dang, when I was in high school, band director would have been like, you march anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, it's like a so universal I, but I don't thing know what else band is directors. Going on. Like, who is this band director? It's like, ah, you guys take it easy. You know. I think it's someone who doesn't want to be walking in the heat themselves. They're like, I don't want to be outside. <laughs> Because it's like 110 heat index today, so they're like, no thanks, no thanks. Band directors I know would be like, you know, uh, a hat and shades in the shade, chewing gum, saying, go, you know, not marching themselves. About, sounds about right. Mm. Okay, so we took care of that problem. I think we should celebrate, David. <laughs> I don't know, Dark Horse is saying you should time it for Copico time. Copico plus parade equals celebration. <laughs> I don't know, my attention may wander. I may go stand by the door so I can watch it go by. Finally. Finally. And then I can finally do this thing the way I want to. Wow. I could like run outside and get candy too, because they throw candy. What? Don't... All parades throw candy? Don't all parades throw candy. Cupcake parade, please inform Jesse about the nature of parades. No. Ours does. Oh my goodness. Um, Are they gonna throw chocolate? It'll it'll just land on you and you'll just be covered. You'll be completely 
covered in melted chocolate. Why did you go straight to chocolate? Candy, hard candies. Because Gum. you you think you know candy candy good and what's the best candy the best candy is chocolate so of course that's the first thing that happens with candy is chocolate I doubt they're throwing chocolate today I think it would be amusing Thank you Magpie and yeah obviously at the cupcake parade they throw cupcakes but Magpie says many parades throw candy mm -hmm. and anime fan I've got you on my calendar to say happy birthday next Thursday and I checked because I was like ooh is that between now and next Thursday but it's exactly next Thursday so next Thursday be ready for a shout out and so like what do you have to do to get the candy do you have to show them your sunburn you just have to be standing there. They just throw it. Usually, you know, they're throwing it more to, to the kids, but, you know, I'm bigger than the kids. Yeah. Is it, uh, it now, is it <laughs> Santa Claus? Them. Is it Santa Claus throwing candy? No, it's just, like, floats. Who's, like, who's the person throwing the candy? Just whoever's on the float. Well, who is it? Is it somebody in a costume? It depends on what their float is. is sometimes it, they're dressed up. Sometimes they're just like business people on a float for their business and being like, hey, we decorated the back of a trailer to, you know, say, come visit our business. Here's candy. So it's not like the mascot of the parade, like Senor Summer or something? <laughs> Where do you think I live? I, I, I don't know, honestly. Some sort it would of be a giant walking land. tulip or something. Oh, Okay. Okay, I can get down with this. Okay, Tulip Parade. Um, tulip. Well, we no, wait. Sorry, we have a Tulip Festival in April, and that's a different parade. That's a parade in April. Different. Wow. Same city, two different parades? Tulip Festival? It's just like a party 24-7 over there. That's how we roll. <laughs> and um, I celebrate. Amazing. Wow. Okay. We fixed our problem. Yes. Are we waiting for Copico, though, until the start of the parade? Mm, I kind of feel like having it now. <laughs> Let's do it now, because here's what my suggestion is going to be mm. after after Copico. Okay. So first, cheers. Cheers. Dink. Excellent. And <laughs> mild, nice. The party every day. Hey, Jesse. Um, <laughs> um, obviously you don't know about Jesse. <laughs> anyway, um, Copico, I, the official sponsor of the Senior Summer Parade at Owensville, Missouri. Oh, okay, first and foremost, it. it's the Gascony County Fair Parade. <laughs> the whole county, Secondly, huh? What's that? The whole county, huh? So all 12 people will be there? <laughs> yes, it's of the whole county. Hmm. Okay. Um, Ooh. I think. Hang on. Hang on to that. Noel Sterling, tell us where you live. We'll find you a parade. I bet there are parades there. Okay, Jesse, what do you think? I'm thinking that we have enough rules in place. That we should start playing with different combinations of root like bases that will become something in the language we don't need to assign meaning or anything but just that will and find some holes fill them in with sound changes and have words in our language starting to be a thing all right all right then i think it's a good idea where should we uh where should we do this in the document but what's really interesting is we only have 10 sound changes and I'm a little like hesitant because in the past we've had like 20 to 30. Um, but I like it and I kind of hope we keep it simple from here on out because honestly the vowel changes were 800 changes in one. So. More will be coming, don't you worry. That smile concerns me. Just for you. <laughs> yeah, that smile concerns me. You like metathesis, right? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that's how we could have fixed this whole problem. <laughs> Mag by asking the real question, can we kill... No, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> if we want no. Jesse to pronounce it, yes we will. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Mm. 
Wonderful. It's more fun. Mmm. <laughs> okay, friend. What are we doing? First of all, we're getting rid of these because they don't matter anymore. Which ones? Oh, sorry. I moved up to page four. I went back to our green notes. Got it. Yeah. Because we've killed that, right? It's going to be Maka and Mana. Um, no, that will be Maka. No, it'll be Makia, but mana. mana. Yep. We're, we're done there. Unless we want to change to Manga, because the W makes it an Angma before it, before the W is deleted. <laughs> yeah, just an idea. But only that one? Um... Well, I also I want to point out that we are currently eating the celebratory Copico for making a decision that we are while still eating the Copico undoing. Go on. Let's just throw let's just throw down some forms. Um, oh yeah, see this is a I, I was saying like you know maybe maybe a little uh, yeah leave this note leave that note leave that note. Because M A T A would stay Mata. Mata would only come from the like M A N T A kind of thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, but also, um, okay, we should um, so that so that Graham can put it into Lexergy. We should add the rule that says um, any any syllable without tone gets high tone. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm um, Go to simplification. Uh, we're going to do it before glide decimation. <clears throat> and Graham, I apologize in, in advance because apparently we may be undoing the work you just did. So sorry. No insertion. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just going to be fine. Um, whatever. That is the best written role you've ever done. It pains me that we can't add accent marks to everything. Yeah. If I want to um, add an acute accent to a capital V, I should be able to. You can using the IPA keyboard, can't you? Yeah. You just, okay. So yes, I can do the I, I can do the exact thing that I that I wanted to do. I just didn't. Okay, you know, whatever works for you. Anyway, you delete this. Um, this should be a. That should the be top, a, Like this should be a footnote to our rule that we already wrote. Good idea. I'll make that happen because I know it pains you to make footnotes. It does. Um, you don't want to get the other stuff? You want to delete the other stuff? I think it's over because we said that R becomes L everywhere, if you recall the eight E's. Good point. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm going to throw down some forms that I want us to look at and think about.
liking all those words so far. Really not words. Liking all those forms. Okay. So, we have this. Mm -hmm. I would like to open your eyes to the possibility of this. Hold on a sec. I'm going to give this a different, snazzier color gold. Thank you, Graham. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we buffering? Are we? I am. On YouTube? I don't think so. I think I just had a moment. Wow. A second, now I've got to get back up to live. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, Miles buffered. Okay, Timo says just a short hiccup. Okay. Okay. We're back. Um, it's not working for me. Oh, I just moved to another oh, Nighttime Studio episode 224. That was a fun one. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Oh, gotta go back to live, live. Okay, there we go. Alright. Um, so, um, I, this isn't as aggressive as we, as one could get. For example, one could go from sa to ha, you know, go from, you know, sawana to juana. And, uh, I guess uh, tswana, uh, tswana to, um, juana. I don't know. I, I just figured the, the S was fine. The S was fine. And people have already mentioned they really like swana, and I agree. I do too. On keeping it. Um, so, uh, what do you think about the remaining golden options? I like the Kwana and the Wana. It's really Nana. I like that, we, I like that uh, we match an aesthetic today. Oh. Yes, I'm, I'm glad that we called and talked about fashion choices before we showed up on camera. As we do every time. Obviously, because, yeah. you know, uh -huh. how embarrassing to not be matchy. Yep. Um, so you don't like Ghana? I like the sound change better when you suggested it when it happened in the middle of the word. It's really just the beginning of the word that I'm... <laughs> Is this just because you don't like na at the beginning of a word? No, that has nothing to do with it. Okay. Because you, you know what everybody, especially those on Discord, think about na. 
that it needs a G? No, that we all like it, and it's way better than cha. <laughs> Isn't that um, right, Nessie? I don't know. What are, what are other people thinking? What do you think? Nessie Nams. That is my name. Nessie Nams. Oh, it took me a minute. What? <laughs> Here, um, let's. Why don't we? Why don't we throw up a little informal poll? This won't decide it. This won't decide it. Um. It really doesn't make sense to change the T and not the not the N though. The T and the R and not the N and the N. And by all changes you just mean the, the golden changes. Um <clears throat> all changes or just um And the way that this is going to work is that um, the change will happen after W has been deleted. Um, and so it wouldn't apply in, in these two scenarios, the approximates or the nasals. If the W has been deleted, then it would just be Lana. Correct. That's what you mean by just two. Never mind. Never mind. Wow. That that was like a brain delay right there. Yeah. Caught back up now. Brain has buffered. That's all right. Okay, so we're ready. Okay, so again, to summarize, people who are watching, A would mean that this holds. So we'll have Twana, Nana, and Lana. B is this is what will happen. We'll have Kwana and Wana and Nana. C, just the T to K thing, and so all it would be would be uh, um, let's see, Nana, not Haha. <laughs> and um, Lana. Um, so and I will I will say for people saying things like oh but I like this form like Lana will still be a form in the language yep. R A N A would be Lana yep like so it's still gonna happen it's just is Lana also going to become Lana or is it gonna become Lana yep okay so here we go A B and C and I may have changed my mind this is interesting I want to see how people vote. Okay. And then I'll, I'll throw my weight in with the one that I think. Go for it. So everybody just vote how you want to vote until Bibliridian votes, then just vote the way he votes. Um, I'll watch A. I've got B's and C's. Okay. Thirteen B's so far, two C's. Four A's. Fourteen B's. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Six A's. A's. making a little comeback. <laughs> Dark Horse, you already voted. I'm up to 16. All right. I, I think that's about all we're getting. Yeah. Over half of the vote, over half people watching have voted. We've got 16 Bs, and at the last minute, I changed my mind and decided no, no, makes sense given the Kwana and the Wana, and I do like those changes. Okay. B it is. All right. 
You're only at seven A's? Oh, and bid went with B, so. Oh! <laughs> That's it. Done. Done. George, you are so right. YouTube does need some sort of stream voting thing. Yeah. Yep. And then I think the next thing we should talk about is that note that we have underneath. Manta maybe becoming Mata. Yeah. And so deciding on that. Good idea. Let's uh, formalize this. So, um, mm -hmm. It really is just those three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And this is going to happen before. Before the W is deleted. Yeah. In the... Also, I'm going to go ahead and do it. All right, I'm opening up this show emojis and symbols. I'm going to the phonetic alphabet. I'm going to do the combining acute accent. There it is. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we'll call this V large. Um, in Bib, it was T U became. KW, but I mean, it's similar because this ultimately is TU becoming TW becoming KW. Um, but yes, it did happen in Yala. Mm -hmm. Which is why some of our plural forms have a quote at the beginning instead of the T. Let's take a note about what Ragdoll has said here. Um, she's talking about a YouTuber, YouTuber Emily D. Baker has live chat polls, maybe we can look up and see how she does it. Maybe we can figure it out. <gasps> I totally just figured out how to do it. Really? Yeah. Do you want me to create a poll? Um, why don't you make a poll that asks if you want people, if people want you to create a poll? Oh, oh, and I get to decide goodness. when to end it. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. That is extraordinary. This is so cool. <laughs> yes, it's a clear winner so far. <laughs> and like... I, I and uh, By the way, so I'm still fair. mystified. It's... I don't know how she did it. You just figured this out right now, season three? Yes, it's so embarrassing because it's so easy. <laughs> Wow, I'm sorry. All this time, oh, be like, you know, we're like watching it and say, I think it has this many votes. <laughs> and this. <gasps> wow. I want, we need to have another poll now because I really, really want to be able to ask another question. Unbelievable. Okay. So I'm going to end the poll with yes being the clear winner at 72 percent of the votes i don't know if you guys can see that can you see um yeah um and uh i can also see that 36 votes were cast and, and that the poll was created a minute ago so like i can really see quite a bit of stuff okay wow oh 38 votes now oh man this is amazing all right ending poll Awesome. Now, I guess the only bad part is I don't think the poll will show up in the chats themselves after. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> Scott Elkin. That is true. That is true. Um, unless Bib specifically types in the comments. <laughs> I mean, 
He, he, we won't know. he wants to be an influencer. He knows what he needs to do. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to make sure he types mm-hmm. real clear what he wants his vote to be. <laughs> okay, I cannot wait for us to uh, have another poll now. I'm ready. Okay, so let's let's. Uh, okay, so let, this will be um, Cornell stops, not affricates, and approximants uh, become velar before W. Yep. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Plus Baylor. So we'll just say minus labial. How do we kick out the Africa? But not kick out the R. Minus strident? That'll do it. Thank you. Nicely. Look at me getting all. Woo! Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, and Nikai is correct that, uh, coronal stops, approximants, and nasals become velar. Um, nasal is short for nasal stop, is it not? It sure is, but... That's why I said coronal stops. Oh, look at you. (laughs) Okay, um... Other quick thing though, like, so that literally means that the R becomes a W before a W and then the W would be deleted in the next row? It's a pretty hacky way of doing it because really what's happening is the R and the the W are merging into W. Um, mm-hmm. But, I mean, the result is the same. Sure. I really need to even out this side. I'm going to do violence to my hair with scissors after this. Okay, I am going to delete the green and gold from up above. Good. Okay. Okay. And now let's talk about Manta, Marky, Mopsy, and Mossy. Yes. Okay. This this should, and I honestly think that this should lead to our next poll. So, um, we're going to have some voicing. All right. Do you see how excited I am? Yeah. Okay. Post nasal voicing. Uh, so uh, I guess question question one. And, and Graham, that really makes sense. Uh, plain stops plus fricatives or just stops. Okay, so then we have post nasal voicing, post approximate voicing, and intervocalic voicing. Um, our potential environments. I'm liking the intervocalica. Oh, this could be a metal band. Right? That's the name of our linguistics metal band. Oh my god, intervocalica. That we were just talking about starting. Yes! That's awesome. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So legit, what, what instruments can you do? Like, could you do piano? Could you say, like, yes, I can be I can be the keyboardist for a metal band? Could you do that? Depends on how loud the other instruments play. <laughs> that's that's for the tech guys to figure out. I'm talking about ability-wise. Can you do it? No. I'm really not good enough on anything to actually be in a band. <sighs> not a metal band. I mean, if you want me to play marimba, that's, you know, awesome. But, like, I'm not sure how, how metal a marimba is. Hmm. I'm thinking about it. And Graham is absolutely right. This would actually come out as Inta for Galaga. <laughs> um, okay. Some friends of mine had a band named Spread Glottis. Oh, oh my goodness. Dark Horse. You're right, Dark Horse. I could play a tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> or the cowbell. I am very happy to do that as well. Okay, but these are our options. Um, somebody had said, what about no voicing? And that's absolutely right. We could also just say no voicing. 
Yes, actually, okay, let's let's start there. Poll number one, voicing or no voicing? Go for it. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I still have no idea how you're doing this. It's very exciting, but, you know. And the thing is, I can vote too. <laughs> Whoops, if I could type. And I'm trying to make sure these are as clear. Okay. Yeah, marimba usually are wood. Mm -hmm. All right. It should pop up any moment. There it goes. Got four votes already. Oh, wow. Oh, this is interesting. There's a clear front runner here. Maybe not. Okay, so examples, by the way, would be like Manta is going to, because we're going to be getting rid of the, the codas anyway, would be Mata, Marky would be Maki, Mopsy, Masi, and then, of course, Masi. Um, and so tone would, of course, be affected because we are, you know, when you get rid of the coda, it does leave some tonal traces and whatnot. Um, but Manta would not voice to, to anything like Mata or anything like that. Floridian dropping his vote in the chat. Um, so we could end up thinking with, it would be like, theoretically, uh, so this is no voicing, but with voicing, there would be a distinction. So Manta becomes Mata, and Mata becomes Mata with no voicing. But with voicing, Manta becomes Mada, and Mata becomes Mata. So yeah, this is really funny though because Graham said he voted no, but only because it makes his job easier. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so now, oh, we're up to thirty-six votes. Yeah. Oh, what is the David vote? People oh, I voted to yes. Come on, you know I like to mix it up. Uh, Miles, that's a wonderful question. I don't remember if nasals leave high or low tone. Well, we'll take a look right now. Um, I'll go down. I think you can change. Can you change your vote? Try. See if it'll let you go back in and vote. Yeah. It's for any kind of voicing. We're not going to have any voicing polls after this if the if the results stay as is. Um, so yeah, I uh, mean, to be fair, it was always difficult when, when people change their votes after we had counted them on our fingers too. <laughs> yeah. So these, uh, without voicing, these would be homonyms. Oh, interesting. Um, Seeing if the, like, nine remaining people add a, add a voice. Otherwise, um, I, I think no state voiceless may win. You want to you wanna do another poll and ask if people want to have a second chance at this poll? <laughs> okay, so I ended it. Um, okay. So, yeah. Do we need another poll to give you an option? <laughs> because people wanted to change. Um, no, uh, Noel, no, it's not. It would be it would be Mata, um, two high tones. Uh, here, let's let's go back. Um, so these are with nasal codas. Nasal codas get nasalized, and they get realized as high tone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is okay. Except that they're well. You'd have to have voicing first in order for that to work. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's let's back up. Again, this poll was going to be the first poll. 
and we're saying, should there be any voicing distinctions at all in this language? We will then go on to decide how there will be voicing distinctions. Um, and yes, there is going to be a lot of homonymy with no voicing distinctions. Can you, can you say that again? Homonymy. Is that right? <laughs> Except the first time we had a couple extra syllables. Homonymy. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> You're fine now, before you just had extra syllables. Um, okay. So, exactly. Um, but yes, homonymy. And... So, okay, so fair. Maybe I was a little bit premature with the poll because I got so excited to type it that maybe we needed to have the examples first. Um, <laughs> anemone. Okay. See an enemy. Damn it. I said it wrong. I know, Jonathan, this is a historic moment. David had to ask me if a pronunciation was correct, and he had it a little off, but, you know. And I love that other people heard what you said the first time, too. <laughs> um, okay, so right. we're going to do the poll one more time. I'm sorry for the abuse. This will not happen in the future, because I'll remember that we need to wait until we're actually ready to do the poll to type the poll. <laughs> I got very excited, though. Okay, so any kind of voicing distinction and we can decide afterwards how the voicing is going to work um, because there could be broad voicing or very minimal voicing any kind of voicing distinction in this language for the plain stops not for the adjectives and maybe the fricatives uh, that is it Just one second. I yeah, know we're probably not going to end up with low tone on Mada. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to add an option. Delete and ask my community. Why is it not letting me? Oh, my question is. Okay, my question was too long. Okay, drum roll. And the, the relevant examples are highlighted, but they wouldn't let me add the word highlighted because that made my question five characters too long. So should there be any voicing distinctions whatsoever in this language, please see examples which are highlighted. Yes will mean there's some, but not all, but some, and no means none whatsoever. <laughs> Forever and ever. Magpie has a good point. Where's Magpie's point? Lots of homonyms means lots of puns. Ah, uh, true. True. Oh, yeah, no, objectives are staying in. Objectives are staying in. <laughs> just make sure that that you you still vote again Mateus because you know oh yeah don't misclick you apparently cannot take away once you once you click your vote yeah uh, you can report the poll though <laughs> oh can you this is this will be fun when people are they ask too many polls now it's, it's getting closer 38 uh, votes it's getting closer and there were only 38 votes before. Yeah, there are more viewers now. Oh, oh. Oh, 39 votes. We have more votes. There's 11 of you out there, 12 of you out there. We're waiting. <laughs> of course, watching now, that makes me wonder, are they watching live? Or could they be starting at the beginning and we see that they're watching now, but they have no idea that we're, we're like asking if they're taking a poll? Interesting question. An hour in. I assume the poll is just going to be an overlay no matter where you're at. <laughs> How random would that be to look up? Yeah. And be like, oh. Let's see. All right. 
listen, I'm going to close it in like 15 seconds. So if you want to vote, get your vote in now. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm going to close it. We have more votes than we did last time by one vote. Oh, We have two more votes than we did last time, and yes is pulling ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh! (laughs) Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that we didn't have to, like, count these, you know, by hand. Me too. (laughs) Run out of fingers. Oh my goodness. All right, I am ending the poll. Five, four, three, two, one, and out. All right. Wow. So what what happened there was I asked the poll too soon and people did not understand the full implication. Um, and one person had mentioned they, they, well, no, no, they just asked if they could. Um, so really, <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. That's so upsetting. Um, it would only occur in certain locations, potentially, like it's not going to be across the board. It doesn't have to be full intervocalic voicing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Viv Loridian didn't want it. You know, the funny thing is, like, there could still actually be no voicing in this if you just vote this. If you like, because the the details are going to be voted on now, so you just vote it out. Okay. So, hold on. Here we go. Next are we poll. Ready? Next poll. Plain stops. Plain stops and fricatives, or none of the above. For what? That needs to be way more specific with examples. Well, we learned our lesson. No, but like, is there going to be voicing at all with just plain stops, with plain stops and fricatives, or with neither? We're gonna okay. we're gonna give the no voicers uh, a chance. <laughs> Do you want to put the examples right there of protoforms um, while I type the question? I mean, I can't because the, there has to be examples. Like, we haven't gotten to the environments yet. But essentially, it's S to Z, F to V, uh, T to D, K to G, P to B. Right? Okay. Um, what should be voiced? Plain uh, stops only. To, to the. Fricatives only. Plain stops and fricatives. And then none of the above was an option. So the anti voicers can take this away. Yep. Yes, they can. Okay, so here is the deal, and I want everyone to listen carefully. Carefully. Hmm. Um, If you vote for none of the above, what you're doing is saying nothing will get voiced. And I feel like this is tough because the people who want voicing, their votes are going to be split into three. And so unless all the people who want voicing want the same thing, nothing will be voiced. Yeah. Uh, oh, and by the way, no, the uh, adjectives were never on the table. Oh, uh, uh, actually, let's go ahead and add another option, fricatives only. Well, fricatives only was already. No, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't mine. Okay, but okay. Graham, yeah, we should not have a none of the above. We shouldn't. Because if we do, it's going to win, and all the people who voted for voicing... There's no longer, they're not going to win because their votes are split into three. Because if you want voicing in some locations, Mm. you're going to vote for one of those three. No, then we'll add, then we'll add them all up. No, we'll have to do it manually, but it will be easy. 
You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay, so there will be four options, right? But um, we will take the highest of the voicing options in the event that there are more total votes for the first three than there are for the last one. So, to give you a small and short example, let's say this one has one vote, this one has two votes, and this one has three votes. And no voicing has four votes. The winner is this one. Because one plus two plus three is six, and six is greater than four. People are saying things like, David's losing it. And you already have that vote. Why have it again with extra steps? <laughs> I was giving him a shot. But we, you're, all right, fine. It, it, like, okay. Fine, fine, you spoil sports. All right, no, we're, we're, we're having some kind of voicing. We'll just figure out. So if you're if you're a no voicer, then you probably want this in the most restrictive environments. So probably fricatives, I'm guessing. Anyway, go for it. Whoops, whoops. Sorry, I hit the wrong. Okay. Thank you, Ragdoll. Okay, uh, some people are with you. I. Noel says this is good. <sighs> Ask of the three options, and then if we like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hit send until I'm ready. Just do the three. Just do the three. It'll be fine. Okay. And Jonathan wants to know, should we add a David's choice? <laughs> okay. My so choice I'm... is always for mischief. Are we? Okay. I'm going to do it. Sorry. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. And by the way, Ooh. just because there will be some does not mean that it's going to show up in so many locations. So. This is interesting. And sorry for people who are split on how we should have done this um, <laughs> in terms of how to ask this poll. That's true. It, it was, uh, no wait, was it Ragdoll or was it Magpie? I mean, Dark Horse probably remembers, but it, it was Ragdoll that, uh, that triggered us to Figuring out how to do polls. Um, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Debbie, we English. had always had um, several polls in our, our streams. We were just counting them on our fingers instead of um, having them on the screen. Okay, so, oh, and Magpie also says Ragdoll is the one who commented. So what we would get is, um, uh, so here, oh, the it data, was I see, but it was that's because that was um, originally a, a TS. Yeah, so, so, so Noel, that's an interesting question. It depends where the sound change is going to land. Um, because uh, generally Africa gets patterned with stops um, and so I would imagine that that would be what would happen with these so it depends where the voicing is uh, in other words if it's uh, has already become th then sure um, provided it's in the right environment if not then no and we will still then have uh, some other homonyms born out of this decision because it looks like uh, fricatives only is a clear winner with 42 votes. So I'm yep. going to end the poll. Yep. 
Uh, and um, because that also means that, for example, a protoform of, um, we don't know the environment yet, but mm -hmm. some protoform that has an F um, that turns into a V in the right environment would overlap with, say, a protoform of M-A-W-U, because that would be like Mavu, uh, because that yep. W would be pulled to a V. So there will be, cool. of course, homonyms um, other ways. Yep. Okay. So then, how do we how do we actually decide this part? And as a side note, uh -huh. I'm gonna go look outside the parade as I hear it. Oh, oh, oh. all right. Okay. Next poll. Do you want oh me my to give you goodness Jesse's, gracious. Uh, social security? Yep. They're numbers. they're throwing candy in case anyone wondered. Are you gonna go out and get some candy? Um. That sounds like a lot of work, but you go, hear, I don't think you can hear the Go out and get the, the candy sirens, and bring right it back. Now. What's that? Go out and get the candy and bring it back. We want to see your haul. We want to see what you get. I have a feeling I'd have to knock a kid out of the way, and I'm not so sure that they would take kindly to that, especially if they see <laughs> me go into a nearby office. Um, okay, so now we do need to decide... Um, I actually, I want to go ahead and Yes. Do you hear them? Yeah, I hear them. Um, so they're starting with, like, fire trucks and police cars and everything leading off the parade, and so tons of sirens outside. Um, okay, so here's what I'm just going to go ahead and say I want us to do, David. No poll. I only want this voicing to occur as compensation for deletion of a coda. For instance, man, mansa would become maza, but masa would stay masa. And it would only be a voice coda, like perhaps post-nasal or post-approximate, and nothing else. Those are our only voice sounds in the protoform, so never mind. Yes. Um, okay, so then... Oh, well, it's our course. No, we are not naming the language before the episode ends. No. Uh, how about... Uh. Oh, good, good. Um... And I'm so hard at all the sounds. <laughs> yeah. There are so many. This is the day to rob a bank in Owensville. <laughs> really, anywhere in the county, because they had they had police from all over. Yeah. Um, George Corley, go ahead and say who you mean. You you mean and Rasta, according to and Rasta, and no, I don't buy it. Anyway. Um, so uh, what are we think? What are we feeling about uh, theta? Do we want to do we want to uh, monkey around so that? Well, hmm. no, I don't think that would work because I think that that becomes theta. It's not going to work because the theta chain happens at number eleven, right. and this really to work the way I've suggested has to come um, before coda simplification. Okay. So then uh, it, the question is, do you want to consider post-glide voicing? And so, um, here, let's delete these. We know what they're going to be, so. <laughs> All three police in the camp. Uh, is that right? Does AJ become AE? A... Jay, let me oh well, let me get to yeah. the right chart. I'm in the wrong chart. It does. It does. Yes, it does. It took me that long to find the right chart. Actually, let's let's just let's just go let's just go full mouse here. <laughs> Mousy becomes mosey. Nice. All right. Um, and then Malfi would become mosey. Um. So Scott. Counties are different sizes in every state, 
and um, also across different parts of the same state, counties will be very different sizes. Um, and so you could have a, a very small, geo geographically small county, but still with maybe not that many people, um, or with a lot of people, I should say, rather. Uh, but you can also get like geographically very large counties that cover tons of area, um, whether they have high population or not. And it really just depends. Okay. So those are the three environments. And boy, do you want to, do you want to just pull one out? Like, do you want to pull out post glide voicing, for example? Just one second. Riafio, that, that's fun. Good job on downloading that keyboard. It's always fun to be able to play with it once you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what do you mean by pull out? Like strike it to say it's out or? Yeah, so that mousy will become mosey. Or do you and want do you want Malfi would be mofi. Yeah, do you want the glides to to, to to not even put that up for a vote and just say no? If there are glides, they're not gonna trigger voicing. I really, just a second. Because this is the hard part. Oh, no, no, we would just need to write the rule to avoid it. Because this is going to have to happen before photo simplification. Yes. And so the glides will still be there. Um, I feel like glides would pattern like vowels in this case. And if there's not intervocalic voicing, then I'm going to say no, because it's I just they're too sonorant. Okay. And don't worry, we'll still potentially be able to get Mosey and Mofi. It's just they're going to come from other sources. Yeah. Okay, so then... For instance, many others. Okay, so then this is the poll. Post-nasal voicing, post-approximate voicing, or both? Okay, and my question is, do we want this poll to be here, or should this be a patron poll? Whoa, oh, I, I didn't even realize what time it was. Yeah, we gotta make this a patron poll just because it's that time. I'm doing it. Putting it in purple. Bam. Now, to be fair, if this were what I really wanted, I really wanted both the stops, the plane stops and the fricatives to do this to get something like Manta becoming Mada. Me too. That was my hope. Yeah, me too. Um, um, but again, only in these restricted environments. I, I didn't want it across the board. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes you're what you want loses. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, by the way, we have, uh, we've hit, uh, 60, 60 patrons on Patreon. So, uh, thank you to Karma Lenge and I don't know how to pronounce it. Yakabe? Yakabe? Y-A-C-A-B-E. Anyway. Uh, thank you both. Um, our, our patron discord is growing. And it's getting hard to keep up with, so I apologize. We're we're getting there. Um, okay. No. Did you want to play around with some other yeah let's, kind of roots to see? Because I feel like next week we're going to be able to actually say we are tentatively done we're going to put a pin in the sound changes next week and move forward um with of course of course always the option of coming back as um as we need to to come back uh to to those sound changes so um i think though like we're gonna be ready to start 
talking grammar things. Yes, we are. And words. Mm -hmm. And our first word needs to be the word for mouse. It just needs to be. Okay. I want to be able to label the little mouse in the drawing. <laughs> well, uh, do you want to just come up with forms? Or do you want to try to come up with our word for mouse? Ooh. We should come up with a word for mouse. Let's do it. Now, of course, it can't have the environments we're testing. Right. So it can't be something like Marsa or Marfa or Mansa or Monfa because we don't know what's going to happen to them. Yeah. What feels mousy for mouse? So curious to know what the first thing you type is. All right, let me do RPA. That's the first thing Aww. that came to mind. That's the first thing that came up. That's nice. That is nice. Oh goodness, now there are people screaming and doing some little sound maker thing. Yeah. Whew. I was saying, everybody get out of here, it's a candy explosion. Are you? Um, Jonathan, it should have an adjective. I want to be able to pronounce those. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, We've got teep and moop poo with a adjective P as suggestions. Moop poo will come out as moop poo. Um, what's, we, we get low tones in very restricted environments. What do we do? do we get them in? I don't know. For a while, it felt like everything was coming out low tone, wasn't it? Or was that everything felt like it was high tone? Uh, I can't remember. So it's low tone if it ends in a uh, glide or R or a fricative. If we're going to have an adjective, this is my, my vote. Oops. Oh, wait. With oh, me. right. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Thank you. Oh, oh, I can't do, I need whatever keyboard combination you did there. Um, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I email you my, um, keyboard layout thingy? Not the full thing, so I don't know how to use it. I just have the keyboard <laughs> All right, uh, I, obviously, we should have taken care of that when you were here. Should have. My but, bad. here we go. And this was another suggestion. And then this one. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's um, oh sorry. So yeah, I'm sure, sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm using the gosh, that's silly. Um Let's... We, however, need to take Narfa off the board because we don't know whether that's going to be a V or an F. Right. Let's change the F to something else. Change it to a P. That one. There's another one, too. I'm just going to enter it here. <laughs> Which then would become... I need to get on my IPA keyboard. I believe it would be that. Whoops, with an adjective. I would need to check that form. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Chisu is kind of cute. I like that. Yeah. Um. 
don't think there's any. He was saying uh, with no with a K coda. I don't think there'd be any difference. Yeah. We are gonna have a lot of high tones, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That may be a problem. We may need to find a way to do more low tones. So was anything with the okay glide fricative? Yeah, approximate or fricative. approximate or fricative left a low tone trace. So I guess we're just going to have to consciously create a lot more roots with um, with codas like. You know, like, uh, so, the keyboard. Um, like. two things really quickly. Um, Matei says, uh, maybe some kind of tone lowering. Um, Agohisa asks um, about why the nasals don't result in low tones. They result in high tones. Um, I don't know. It's just like we did it and it just made sense i remember we talked about it it's in the episode like maybe i don't know maybe we said it could go either way and we were feeling it was too low tone i don't know so let's see uh mean mean becomes me me becomes me i don't know mm. so we think about that <laughs> um yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just take a look at something real quick. Okay, so they do get leveled. So in becomes a, eh, eh. So team becomes te, and team becomes te. Hmm. Okay. Does somebody? This is this is your homework assignment because I don't want to do it. Somebody go back to the episode where we did that specifically, because it, 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 it can't be more than a minute. Where we were Freddie deciding. says it had to do with your thesis. No, no, no. That was why they lowered. That was like the vowel. That was why the vowel quality lowered. Oh no! Wait, no. Because my thesis didn't have anything to do with tone or intonation. It was with vowel quality, um, preceding nasals. And we know that nasals, uh, the quality of nasals lowers before nasal codas, because we've seen that. We've seen it in French. But for tone. Freddie says nasalized vowels lower, but prenasal vowels raise. Yes, correct. That is correct. But is that vowel quality or it's tone? Val, it's vowel quality. It has nothing to do with tone. Um, and somebody had asked about a specific form, and now I'm trying to find it. Um, in Kobe, we get, in case that wasn't answered, sorry, um, we get low tones by... Um, any approximate or uh, fricative ending the as a coda. Well, we can see that they come. Let's see, and then EW would become something. And then that's going to be T. But just a minute, what does EW become? Doesn't it become um, E? O? Open to E, yeah. So it would be E with low tone. I think that's that's my guess. That's my guess. We'll, we'll, we'll type it in, and, but then we'll see. Um, cheeky. Um, cheeky. It's cute. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, in Dark Horse, there yes, is yes. no um, D in protoforms or anywhere in the language. Um, and yep. MJA is not an allowable sequence. It yes. can only be consonant, vowel, consonant, or consonant, vowel, vowel. Th those are the only syllables allowed. And thus goes the siren. <laughs> I am, gosh, I'm really struggling to remember why that happened with Tom. Because the best that I can come up with in my head is that uh, the following nasal is that, like, it could be either, and so we thought we had too many low tones, so we went with high, which obviously, now that we're looking at it, would be silly. We should go with low if it's, uh, if it's a pick em situation. I'm driving me nuts. You want to have a little, little like inception and just look up that video while we're streaming? Well, no, it's so only have four minutes left, and we got to find it, the whole thing. Yeah, you're right. I'll do that while I'm waiting for the parade to end, because I think I had mentioned to you I can't go anywhere until the parade ends. Uh, I don't want to assume default low tone, um, because then that'd be too much low tone. Um, and these are, these are mice. They should be having, you know, beep. Um, good, oh, night, good night, Riafio. Riafio. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, so I did not see it. All right, here Goodness we go. Gracious. Nasal, coda, tonogenesis. Come on, Google. Ooh, is this um, Hyman? Is Larry Hyman? What's up? Oh, yeah, it's Larry Hyman. This is my guy. He was a, a Berkeley professor. Coda constraints on tone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While some languages don't have phonetic codas at all, others restrict codas to a small subset of the contrast found in onset position. An example of this is a fit, fit dialect of Bamineke in which only front a can occur before coda t and only e can occur before coda n. Hmm. In this paper, I am interested in coda constraints on tone. Let's see if he gets into nasals. He might not. Codas. Oh. Do uh, uh. you have anything there? The final nasals could be. This is going to be too hard uh, to piece through. Yeah. Um, maybe this there one is. will be better. Um, I mean, that could definitely be something we figured out moving forward. Right now, that doesn't affect any of our forms. So I think we should each pick three favorites from our current list for the word for mouse. I think we should, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a real quick. Uh, I'm just going to do the find on the word nasal. There's only eight instances of the word nasal. Maybe this will help. Okay, two in non tonal varieties. Oh, three series of nasals remain synchronically attested. Uh, okay, that's not helpful. This transcription is the unvoiced part of the sound is not a glottal fricative as the nasal articulation is already into place. Mm. Pre-nasalized stops do not always pattern with voice plosives with respect to pitch depression. Interesting. 
do not always, which means they sometimes do. Yeah. <sighs> Delayed aspiration contrasts with regular aspiration on clicks and is cross linguistically associated with nasal venting and breath. It's Ah, uh, alas. No, that's not, this is not the, the, this is not the cut and dry cookie cutter answer I was looking for. Uh, never is. It, it never is. And this looks like mm -hmm. it was just scanned in. <gasps> post vocalic nasals. Section 3.3, .3, page 60. Hold on. We're getting so close. Okay. There is one aspect of the problem that cannot be ignored, namely the post-vocalic nasals. What is their source? What role do they play in tonogenesis? In modern Chinese, every variety of the language is nasals at the syllable ending position. In Mandarin and three in Cantonese. As far as their distribution is concerned, they appear in tone one, tone two, and tone three. Now, those are just tone numbers. What are they associated with? <laughs> Freddie says, give nasal codas a weird tone contour. You know you want to. Historical evidence does not demonstrate that they might affect tones either. In the following, we'll look at different arguments about nasals, but nothing conclusive can be drawn from them yet. Let me just let me just get a list of Chinese tones here, because I forget which ones are which. Uh, and I'm over here just going over all these words in my head, trying to decide which one feels more mousy, and then also wondering if we should have two syllables or maybe one. Tone one is high, tone two is rising, tone three is dipping. That doesn't really help. Basically, everything but low. <laughs> That, that's right. what can appear before nasals. Everything but low. Ugh. This is killing me. Yeah, this is okay. something to return to next time, David. Maybe it's maybe it's my intonation raises so much because um, I think of nasal vowels and I think of French and French always has you know, and so on like that um, and so it's like your intonation is always rising. <sighs> anyway, we can do what this one does because right that becomes um, there we go. Um, we may have to just throw low tone onto syllables with nasal codas just because that's all we can do okay but yes we I can, feel, we, we can, yeah, we can. I feel like what we should do mm -hmm. is stop here for now I know I said I wanted a word for mouse but I'm not ready to decide on one yet yeah even though it should um, obviously be <laughs> Even though what? It should obviously be cheeky. <laughs> that was the one I wanted too. Okay. Yeah. So that's it then. My question was if um, we wanted to double check the EW going to low tone um, because we may need to, you know, mess with the proto form by making that say a UR or something. So that way it would still be this modern form um, if this would not create the low tone that we wanted. No, it does. Okay. I didn't see that in the chart, so I was just. Um. It's it's there. I promise it's there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See. I see it. Yeah. We're good. I cool. see it now. Yep. Okay. Okay. So in that case, never mind. Protoform is good. Yep. Modern form is good, mm -hmm. and we have a word for mouse. All right. Yay! And.
And with that, we need to let you go. All right. So good to see you, everybody. And patrons, you got a poll to vote on. And can't wait to see where it goes from here. Also, next time, it, we're in between now and next time, first of the month uh, for, for patron stuff. So if you're interested. That is right. Oh, yes. Yeah, so there will be um, a podcast yes. releasing yes. soon. It's going to happen. Yep. Um, and it'll be exciting. So, yay. We look forward to seeing you next week. All right. Bye, everybody.